Hi guys, I'm Farida and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover how you can interpret and understand your dental x-ray. So at the end of this video, you can simply read your dental x-ray with this knowledge. Check out the time code below and hope you will learn something new and feel free to skip around. Okay, let's jump in. Any x-ray enable us to see right inside you. An X-ray is a black and white image or a very same image with a scale of gray shades. An X-ray works on the principle of different amount of absorption of X-ray. So the harder or more mineralized a tissue is, it will absorb or block more of the X-ray. So this X-ray reaches the film that that part of your film is white or has a whiter gray shade. If more x-ray get passed through the tissue and reaches the film, that part of the film is dark or has darker gray shade. We have two radiography terminology to describe dark and light shades. Radiolucent describes dark shades in our x-ray radiography. Radiopaque. Radiopaque describes wider gray shades in the x-ray radiography. So now you know when your dentist is talking about radiopaque, it means something that's white. And when he's talking about radiolucent, it means something that is dark. At first, what I am looking for in a dental x-ray, everything should be in a normally healthy way. A typical tooth has three parts with three different shades. The edge of the tooth is the enamel that is white or red opaque. It means it's so hard and mineralized that it doesn't let any x-ray to go through. The second layer is the dentin. It is not as much harder as the enamel but is hard than the dark part in the middle and it has much more darker gray shades than the enamel. This middle part you see right here is the pulp or the nerve and it's kind of a soft tissue so this is our third layer and it's non-mineralized and contains nerves and soft tissue. So this is our dark part or it's radiolucent. So on a normal tooth we have the enamel and then we have the dentin enamel junction the line between the enamel and the dentin and then we have the dentin and then we have the pulp so what i'm looking for in a dental x-ray mostly we're looking for cavities and what does the cavity look like in a dental x-ray before i continue i just want to thank all of you guys for your support and i appreciate that and if you learned something new so far, please like this video and subscribe my channel. What a cavity looks like on a dental x-ray. Since decay is an area of tooth demineralization, therefore lesser mineral content, less hard, or it can make a hole inside. It shows as a darkened area or dark spot on a dental x-ray inside the enamel or dentin. The cavity is mostly seen in the region between the tooth contact or as you can see it can be in the surface of the tooth. In a dental x-ray, a cavity is seen as a shade of gray to black so a cavity is much more radiolucent than the normal enamel or dentin. What does a tooth filling look like? This part on the crown is showing a metal filling such as an amalgam. Because it's a metal, we have much more absorption of the x-ray, even much more than the enamel. So it's very, very white. So it's radiopaque. If inside the tooth where we have the pulp, that we know it should be dark, but we see these white lines or radiopaque lines, it is showing that the teeth has a root canal tropy or an endodontic tropy.
So radiolucent means dark areas or dark gray shades like the pulp, caries, and even the soft tissue like the gums. Radiopaque means white areas or white, lighter gray shades like the enamel and the metal restoration or the endodontic therapy inside the pulp. Remember, before taking x-ray radiography, you need to be checked out clinical for any signs of caries and at the end, always ask your dentist so you will have a professional interpretation on your dental x-ray radiography. Okay, and that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and press that bell button for getting notifications for the next video. Have an awesome day.